Good morning, guys, and welcome back to my channel. Look who's here. You're not allowed to be, you're not allowed to be in these videos anymore. <laughs> I've got him nice and whipped. He's cooking me some dinner up. We're just doing some client calls, getting some people involved in the LA Obsession personal training, getting them fit, getting them sorted. And I guess this guy's all right at programming too, but well, he does his bit. But yeah, we've, we've got a couple of calls this morning, a couple of new potential clients joining the squad, and then we've got a couple of tweaks to make to our current clients' plans as well. We're going to just smash this out, and then later on today, I believe I'm going to do a little bit of an Instagram chooses my workout so on my Instagram I put up a little bit of a post Right guys, so later on today I'm going to be filming a YouTube video, a little bit of a challenge video around Instagram controlling my workout. So put any of your suggestions down below about what exercises you want me to do in the workout. Can be as horrible as you want. Do what, your worst. Watch Instagram. Instagram. Oh, it's already popped up on screen. Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah, see that. Do you want yours, PBQ? Uh, no. No, no. Leave it alone. <laughs> but yeah guys, so we're going to do Instagram chooses my workouts. So you need to make sure you're following me over there if we're doing any challenges or anything like this in the future. Uh, you need to just do it, don't you? Get over there, go follow me. You can follow Luke as well, I guess, if you want, but you might probably already follow him anyway. It's not been that long. <laughs> like you say, all these new followers I've got since you left two weeks ago. It's been one week. <laughs> Luke is going to be in the videos, of course. He's, it's not like we broke up with each other or anything like that. Even though it still felt a little bit emotional didn't it? What people do to get lovely meals and meat like this, Luke? What? Do you remember um, what, what they do? What, what I do yeah. personally, I don't know if you've done it before, there's a, there's a website it's called a, a company called Muscle Food. Alright, okay. So I tend to, I just go on their website really. Go on the website, I'll yeah. do that, order my food and then at the end... Where do you normally find the, the website link? Is it is it in the bio? I think it's, it's in the, the, it's it's in the bio. In the bio. You scroll down. Yeah, it's in there. And there's, like when they get to the checkout... And the so the that's what I was going to say, rather than paying full price, yeah, you can yeah. if you want. Yeah, yeah. I tend to use, it's called LA Obsession, all capitals. Yeah, yeah. There, if you type that code in... No spaces. No no spaces. You get yeah. a discount. Yeah, you get a discount. You get five pound off your order. Don't yeah. you? I mean, it seems silly to not do that. Really, yeah, it's doesn't a free it? packet of bacon or sausage. That's yeah. just probably more than that. Yeah, probably a little bit more. You might get a free steak for that. But yeah, guys. So if you want food like this, you want to make some gains. You, you might as well do that. Just do it. Just do it! Just do it! Just do it! Yeah guys, so you might as well just go do that. Yeah. Now we'll see you later. Bye! Bye! See you later! Right guys, so we've just got to the gym. We decided to come to a spa day gym today. We're gonna go to the pool and the coo- We're gonna go to the pool and the coo- The coo- <laughs> We're gonna go to the pool and the jacuzzi. I'm here with Alice. We've been training together for a little bit. I've taught her everything she knows. Incorrect. <laughs> Incorrect. No, but like I say, Alice, she has been telling me that like training with me has been helpful. I've been giving her some good tips and advice, and that's what I'm trying to do for you guys. If you want to go see more of Alice, I'll pop up her Instagram here. You can go see it. Anyway, guys, we're gonna go absolutely smash, smash it. We're gonna smash it, and it's gonna be class. <laughs> Apparently, I say smash it in class way too much. But anyway, guys, what we are gonna do is the workouts that you. Have planned for us you mean mean horrible people some of the stuff is absolutely horrendous so we'll see how that goes and we'll catch you on the other side so we've just got into the gym the first challenge on the list is how is this the first challenge it's like the hardest thing to do it is a hundred burpees for time so me and Alice are gonna do it we're gonna try and do a hundred burpees as fast as we can there's a class on in this room in about 10 minutes so we've got to do it in under 10 minutes so 10 burpees a minute I think that's doable go on let's go let's go right so starting the timer now, ready to go. <sighs> 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 
57, 57. Okay. That was so hard. You guys started off. Started that one off great. How many did you get? Um, I just counted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, feet, feet and quads are absolutely horrible there. Give that one a go, guys. 100 burpees for as fast as possible. I got 7.57, so sub 8 minutes. <laughs> yes. gonna go for a nice swim and sit in a jacuzzi and we're not gonna bring you guys with us we're just gonna chill out so we'll catch up with you after the workout after my nap <laughs> I'm back now what have you done to me <laughs> what have you done and we're back guys we are all finished in that workout it was it was a tough one you you, you wrote me off a little bit there especially the 100 burpees whoever put that in you are pure evil. Let me just readjust you a sec. There we go, that's a bit better. But yeah, you are pure evil. That was absolutely horrible. And that five minute plank, that was so painful that. It kind of leads on to what I actually wanted to talk about a little bit, which like you have mental fatigue and you have physical fatigue. 
in my muscles then when I was doing plank I was in so much pain it hurt like staying in that position was difficult I give up mentally when I give that I saw that time I hit three minutes and I just dropped and I'd, I give up mentally and it was afterwards I was thinking about it when we were sat in the jacuzzi and I was like I could have done five minutes like I frustrated myself that I actually uh, give up I definitely could have done longer it hurt yeah and I put myself through it fair enough they literally done quite nicely at thinking about how training in itself and how doing exercise, getting bigger, getting stronger, and everything like that, why we actually do it and like what needs to happen to your body to make it adapt, to make it change. And the main thing that I wanted you guys to take away from this is that you have to have a stimulus that is going to be challenging and is going to test your body. So I know that I could do 20 press-ups easy. So if I went and did 20 press-ups now, my body wouldn't adapt, and my chest wouldn't grow because it's used to it, it's used to that stimulus. It's used to being under that kind of pressure. If anything, it's used to being under more pressure. So the idea is that you need to push it and you need to push yourself so that you can get that adaptation, you can get the muscles adapting. You need to tell your body that it's like, look, I'm not strong enough right now. I need to, be, I need to build more muscle, I need to get stronger. And then that's what's gonna help your body adapt and that's what's gonna make you better and stronger in the longer term. So you need to just think about that a little bit. You know, like when you think, oh, I'm not gonna do them last couple of reps or, I'll stop there, I won't do that one extra set. It's like that. them one extra sets and them last couple of reps in the workout are the ones that are gonna tell your body we need to get stronger, we need to get bigger, we need to get better so that we can take the load of doing that. Really focus on if your program and your plan says you're gonna do eight reps of an exercise but you feel comfortable, make sure on that next set you are pushing the weight or you get 10 reps, you get 12 reps next time on that same weight. So always try and overload your muscles. In, in a sense, what I'm saying to do is progressive overload. So make sure that you are progressing constantly, getting stronger, doing more reps, doing more weight, using all of these different mechanics that you can to make the exercises harder. And this progressive overload is what is gonna cause you to adapt your body to grow, to get stronger. Whatever your fitness goals are, you need to make sure that you have some kind of progressive overload. Even the same goes for running. It's like your body is never gonna improve your cardiovascular system if you don't run them longer distances to improve. So if you're used to running a mile, then running one and a half mile, all of a sudden, is gonna be a shock to the body. It's gonna get it to adapt. It's gonna get it to work. It's gonna get it to improve your cardiovascular system. So in making sure that whatever you're doing, whatever your goals are, whatever you're trying to work towards, you implement some kind of progressive overload into that system and you will make results in the longer term but i think i have rambled a little bit of enough on that there thank you guys for getting involved over on instagram for the instagram controls my workout it was it was a good bit of fun doing some stuff that i wouldn't normally do especially the 100 burpees for time were you impressed with my time by the way i got under eight minutes sub eight minutes doing 100 burpees i challenge any of you guys out there to actually give that one a go and see if you can beat my time and let me know in the comments below or let me know on instagram if you do give it a go and do see what time you can get but i'm gonna leave that there guys Guys, I hope you have enjoyed the video. It's a little bit of a different thing. I hope I've still given you some advice and some tips to go away with. And I believe that is it. So make sure you subscribe, like the video, hit the notification bell, and all that other fun stuff. Share the video with a friend. And hopefully we can get as many people to see this. I'm not going to stop doing vlogs anytime soon. So every Thursday and every Monday at 5 o'clock, you'll be getting a vlog for the foreseeable future. I will let you know if anything changes. But that is everything, guys. There is one last thing. Thing to say, stay obsessed.